a first in medical history. A wriggling worm measuring eight centimeters plucked from a human brain. Surgeon Harry Priya Bandi was performing brain surgery on a 64-year-old patient at Canberra Hospital last year when she made the discovery. I thought, gosh, that feels funny. I took my tweezers or my tumor holding forceps and I pulled it out and I thought, gosh, what is that? It's moving, take it out of my hands. We took that time to sort of take stock, not squish the worm, so the scientists were able to identify exactly what it was, but it's definitely one of those moments in my life where I'm still a little bit traumatized since then. Holding these forceps has caused me some degree of stress. Experts identified the creature as the larva of an Australian native roundworm, not previously known to be a human parasite. The worms are commonly found in carpet pythons and kangaroos. The patient lives near a carpet python habitat. While she had no direct contact with snakes, scientists believe she consumed the eggs from foraging native vegetation. The patient had experienced forgetfulness and worsening depression in the months before the operation. The experts who worked on the case have shared their findings in an article published in the journal Emerging Infectious Diseases. It's not something we expect to see in, in everyone. We have noted, however, that other snakes around the world carry this parasite. So it is quite likely that other new cases will be documented. So hopefully raising awareness of that will help other healthcare workers around the world. Six months after the worm was removed, the patient's symptoms have improved but persisted.